What does this double pendulum have to do with weather forecasting? Well, try to predict what the shorter arm is going to do. Can you? Predicting the weather more than a week in advance can be just as hard, because the weather, like this double pendulum, is a chaotic system. Let's say you want to plan a barbecue for next month. So, you check a long-range forecast and you pick a sunny day. But when the day arrives, disaster strikes. It's raining and all your buns get soggy. What happened? Did the weather forecaster do a bad job? The weather at 30 days, or 20, or even 10, isn't just hard to predict. It's nearly impossible, just like predicting this double pendulum. To see this more clearly, Let's do some control experiments. Let's label a swing where the shorter pendulum flips as a rainy day, and a swing where it doesn't flip as a sunny day. Here's the first swing. The shorter pendulum flips, so it's a rainy day. The second swing, the small pendulum flips again, so it's also raining. Third swing, no flip, so sunny day. And the fourth swing, the small pendulum flips again, so it's raining. Now let's run this same experiment again. Do you think it will show the same behavior? As we repeat this experiment four times, we see that the pendulum looks really similar for the first two swings, but then its behavior begins to diverge. That's because no matter how careful we are, tiny differences in the starting position get amplified by interactions between the arms until after a few swings, the pendulum looks different every time. This amplification of small changes is called chaos, and it's found everywhere, in how planets move, how people interact, and in the weather. The weather, like the double pendulum, is made up of multiple parts that interact. For example, the weather next week where you live will be affected by the weather right now in Paris, France, Paris, Texas, and here in Seattle. Meteorologists use computer models to forecast the weather. But just like we couldn't set the exact starting conditions of our pendulum, forecasters can't know the exact temperature everywhere or exactly how hard the wind is blowing. And these errors get amplified by interactions between different places. Chaos in weather limits forecast ability to about a week. So should you arrange that outdoor barbecue a month in advance? Well, if it rains a lot where you live and you don't want to end up like this, then don't rely on those long-range forecasts. Maybe invest in an indoor grill 